It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. Now, as we all know, Meek Mill and Drake have had a long storied relationship in this music industry. They was cool at first, you know, when they were coming up in the same rankings early on, 2010 era, going into the 2012 era, debut albums, them being neck and neck. You know, Drake's been that guy for a long time, but Meek Mill was also in those rankings as well. Unfortunately, things went bad. You know, they had their beef and they took their shots back and forth. Other people didn't benefit greatly from that either, such as Quentin Miller, who got caught in the middle of all of that and lost out the worst. Meek Mill and Drake have since become friends, gotten back cool. Ever since Meek Mill got out of jail and was doing the prison reform stuff, Drake has been coming out, uh, supporting him, bringing him out on stage. They've been partying together, all type of stuff. So now we have a interview with Meek Mill basically saying that these guys have actually become real life friends i think they were always cool they always enjoyed each other you know what i'm saying but now they're at a point where they can actually be honest and be real with each other about life issues about music industry issues you know what i'm saying about whether or not the music you're putting out do i like it do i not like it they can be open and honest with each other without it being beef without it being a problem without taking offense let's go ahead and run the tape with meek mill talking about this because i actually like to see this I, I wish we could see more of this from people in hip-hop or just the black community in general especially when people have creative endeavors it shouldn't be an indictment against your character or who you are if somebody doesn't like what it is that you're doing or what you created everybody's not going to see things from the same vantage point we all don't create from the same exact spaces so yeah let's get into it and drake talking to each other a lot i see people drake. say stuff about drake other than this is a joint somebody was saying drake slime y'all was corny i test him i was like i don't think slime y'all corny and i would tell you if i thought it was corny mm. i just ain't think the song was corny and that was one of the songs we listened to it all the little chicks but <laughs> on the internet now we got it like that where we could like be brutal i mm. thought it, if he think my song corny he could tell me that we never was at a space like that before the beef and then now we right. got to a space where we could text each other and say anything it could be about a female it's i like yo dress true. <laughs> what's it's up who is this and he, he gonna definitely call me yeah. and say the same thing i'm a sniper myself and we got that honesty where we can leave it on the table and we can walk away and feel good about that and we ain't had that before the beef so uh just in the music industry i don't think that i think that shit playing out so yeah man salute to drizzy salute to meek mill you know what i mean because so many guys come into this hip hop thing young, you might be 18, 19, you might be early 20s, mid 20s, whatever it is. And so many people in this industry get held back by ego, right? You out here thinking you're moving perfect. Everything that you do is untouchable, infallible. So much so that if anybody has any criticism of you, you explode. You act like you've never heard anybody tell you that you're less than perfect when you know that you ain't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad to see these guys growing up. I think Drake still has a bit more to do. I think Meek Mill still has a bit more to do, but they're coming along, right? Because unfortunately, when you're rich at a young age, that also can hinder your growth. You may grow in your business ventures. You know what I'm saying? You may grow in your titles within the industry, but that doesn't mean that you're mentally growing. And it also doesn't mean that you're maturing at the same rate as some of your peers, because you get to be hoisted up on this pedestal where, like I said, you feel like you're above reproach, above criticism, above being called anything less than perfect. Meek Mill says that these guys are even having conversations about women now. We all know how sensitive Drake has been about women in the past. Rihanna, all these different people that he's pursued in the industry, etc. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to see that he's coming into a better space as well as far as his romantic situations. They're coming across similar women, maybe even the same women. They're texting each other, putting their checks and balances in like, yo, do you know who this is? What's she about? Blah, blah, blah. You got any info? Let me know what's up. Or, you know, even touching bases to say, hey, this is somebody I'm checking out. Like, what's good? Like, you already touched her. Or what's the, what's the status before we move forward, before anything goes down? Again, I like this for them. Doesn't mean that I condone them, you know, coming across the same women and all that type of shit. But at the same time, in the industry that they work in, with the type of people they surround themselves with, the people that are trying to surround themselves with them, naturally that comes with the territory. So I'm just glad that they're able to navigate it in a 
respectful way, in a positive and productive way. And hopefully they can maintain that for years to come because we don't always get to see how hip hop friends pan out in the long term. Right. We know about the Busta Rhymes and Spliff stars. Right. We know about the Red Mans and Method Mans. EPMD fell out, get back together, fall out, get back together. You know what I'm saying? Tribe Called Quest, same type shit. Outcasts, I guess they're still friends, but we don't really see them around in, in the same spaces, right? So I do think that there is some precedent to be set. There is some example that they can be leading, especially in this generation, for people to look up and see Drake and Meek Mill, especially with their historic past, with them having bar for bar disses, going all out crazy on each other. Now they're in a better space. Now they're trying to enhance, grow up, elevate. I'm honestly happy to see it. I wouldn't be mad if these guys, you know, decided to create like a project together. That's something that people would probably love. And to be for real, I think the shit would be banging. It was displayed when they did going bad that they have a good chemistry. They when they get on similar production, they both can exhibit, you know, what I mean, the top of their game and still complement each other on a track. So I would like to see more music coming from them. Um, as you might have seen or heard in that same video, we have Meek Mill and Rick Ross. They're back together. They're back hanging out. They're back moving around within the industry together. We know that Meek Mill took a break from all of his business ventures, ended his relationship with Maybach Music, ended his relationship with Atlantic Records, ended his relationship with Rock Nation as a company. That does not mean that he left Jay-Z as a friend, but he decided that he wanted to just sever all business ties, learn about the music business, try to do some things on his own understand where his money went, where his money is going, how it's coming in, etc. Now it seems like he's in a better place. He's linked back up with Ross. They have a new song out called Shaq and Kobe, where if y'all understand and remember the dynamic between Shaq and Kobe, Shaq was the vet in the game, right? Kobe was the rookie. Shaq was trying to take Kobe under his wing, but also show leadership and saying, this is my team. You're the future, but you got to, you know, be the 1B to my 1A. And they clashed, right? They had moments where they couldn't see eye to eye. And when Kobe was coming into his own stardom, they continued to bump heads even more. So I'm guessing that they're drawing those same parallels between them because you got two people that are highly opinionated, see, see certain things as what's being fit for what they want to do. And if things don't go their way, they don't necessarily react the best. So it's dope to see Meek Mill and Rick Ross back hanging out again, seeing them in the same spaces, putting out music. It kind of lets you know that even with the, whatever differences they may have had, because there seemed to have been some big differences. There was rumors that people had gotten shot or shot at between Rick Ross and Meek Mill. Some people getting kicked out of birthday parties and all type of shit that di just didn't seem right. And it seemed weird for people that were supposed to be doing business together and showing solidarity between each other. So again, it's definitely a good look. And I'm hoping that we can see more people resolve their past issues, move forward, be, you know, you don't got to be best friends, but be able to be culpable and be amicable in this industry together and cross paths without any issues. Y'all let me know what y'all think of all this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates and I'm going to take y'all out with a selection from my new Southside Nolan project out on November 1st called Let's Get It. I'm going to keep running this record till the, till the project is actually out, man. I feel really strongly about this song and I want y'all to feel the same, okay? Let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments as well. Peace! Yeah. King of my city in Kodasak uh. Coming, I swing like soldier rat yeah. Leading my people like quarterback Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac yeah. Had to get up and grind Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply yeah. Came with the chip and the dip It just single the mind We finna do more to survive I need my check yeah. Spinning the block for the gouda We hitting the jeweler to flood out the net yeah. We don't do beef on computers I'm straight out the sewer We come when you rest yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed So keeping my foot on their neck uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest With drama, I'm fully oppressed yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me uh -huh. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me I've been dropping these haters like calories uh -huh. Cross my came back with some battery Stand for my honor But you run no corner Packing a stick with a drummer Wanna catch my bad one for me I done came too far to be humble let's go. New day, let's get it Big chain, let's get it More fame, let's get it No shame, let's get it New day